The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 12H. The idea that we are now going to develop, or perpetrate, is rather intensely of the accursed, or the advanced. It's a lost soul, I admit, or ghost, but it fits in, or, as conventional as ever, our own method is the scientific method of assimilating. It assimilates, if we think of the inhabitants of Ilvera. By the way, I forgot to tell the name of the giant swirled, monstrator, spindle-shaped world, about 100,000 miles along its major axis, more details to be published later. But our coming inspiration fits in, if we think of the inhabitants of Ilvera as having only visited here, having, in hordes as dense as clouds of bats, come here, upon hunting excursions, for mice, I should say, for bees, very likely, or most likely of all, or inevitably, to convert the heathen, horrified with anyone who would gorge himself with more than a bean at a time, fearful for the souls of beings who would guzzle more than a dewdrop at a time, hordes to tiny missionaries, determined that right should prevail, determining right by their own minutenesses. They must have been missionaries, only to be as motion to convert or assimilate something else. The idea now is that tiny creatures coming here from their own little world, which may be Eros, though I call it Ilvera, would flit from the exquisite to the enormous, gulp of a fair-sized terrestrial animal, half a dozen of them gone and soon digested. One falls into a brook, torn away in a mighty torrent, or never anything but conventional, we adopt from Darwin. The geological records are incomplete. Their flints would survive, but, as to their fragile bodies, one might as well search for prehistoric frost traceries. A little whirlwind, Elrine carried away a hundred yards, body never found by his companions. They'd mourn for the departed. Conventional emotion to have. They'd mourn. There'd have to be a funeral. There's no getting away from funerals. So I adopt an explanation that I take from the anthropologists. Burial in effigy. Perhaps the Elvrines would not come to this earth again until many years later. Another distressing occurrence, one little mausoleum for all burials in effigy.